making the remarks at the annual fishing industry address. Forbes stressed that Valfis Bay, the town where the resource comes from, does not benefit directly from fishing. I trust that this is something that the government and the minister will look at and consider. It goes beyond me that for a town such as Wolfish Bay, with the resources, hunger is an everyday experience for more than 20% of the population. Unemployment amongst the youth at 40% and housing is a disaster. As a lack of proper, decent housing has claimed several lives over the past years, as elected leaders, we need to do better. The Confederation of Namibian Fishing Associations, however, says the ministry should not allocate fishing quotas to non-right holders, as this will be in contravention with the Act. Its chairperson, Matia Mukwa, stressed that whether it is a commercial or governmental objective quota, fish is supposed to be caught and accounted for to the government by a right holder. Let the government allow existing national budgeting mechanism to distribute revenue from fisheries, levies, fees and taxes to cater for needs of schools, hospitals and communities. This is a sustainable and fair way of beneficiating all Namibians, rather than allocation of quotas to a few of such facilities and groupings. If indeed the government wants to create new rights and quota holders outside Section 33 of the Act, let this be done through a revision of the Act through Parliament and with full stakeholders' participation. The municipality falls under Ministry of Urban and Rural Development. And we have just heard from the association, the confederation of the association, how they talk about the management of this resource and the governmental objective quota. Municipalities and regional councils can benefit through the governmental objective quota, through the Ministry of Urban and Rural Development. That can happen, Your Worship, but that way. But we also need to listen sometimes when the industry talks to us. Renate Rengura, NBC News, Valve is Bay.